Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farm in the Philippines. <clears throat> when we were moving the bamboo around to the fish pen, everyone kept asking me, why don't you rent a truck to haul the bamboo in? And my answer was is that I'd never seen a truck for rent. Uh, we're over in Obai, and this one here says it's for sale or rent. So I'm gonna have Tata go ask over there. I'm gonna have him ask before I do and see what the for rent and for sale is on it. This is a large truck. I would imagine it's got a, a couple ton payload capacity. And if there's no one here at this little place of business that knows about it, it does have a phone number on it here. And I'm curious as to what the day rate would be. And I'm curious how much they want to sell it for. Forward. Huh? Forward. Forward? Who, who are we going to ask about that? All right, well, uh, we got some prices. Uh, the per day rental is 2,500 pesos per day. Now, this is a five ton truck. Uh, Mr. Hamiro, uh, that's the gentleman we talked to, said it'd probably be a good idea to limit this to 100 pieces of bamboo per trip. Uh, 2,500 pesos per day for rent. Uh, we pay for the fuel. And the for sale price is 550,000 pesos, which would be about 11,000 USD. Which for a five ton truck isn't too bad. He told me which motor it has. It's got a Mitsubishi uh, diesel motor in it. Uh, the tires are good on it. Uh, it looks reasonably sound. The bed in it's in good shape. What do you think, Tata? Good price? Good price. Good price? Yeah. How about rental price? Good or mm, yeah? Two thousand better, yeah? Or two five is okay. What do you what's your opinion? For one day. One day. It's okay. It's okay? Two five is okay? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, by Western standards, that's a steal. 50, 50 US dollars to rent a truck like this for 24 hours. And you don't have to leave your credit card and, and the name of your first firstborn and your birth certificate and all the rest of that. I mean, it's an incredibly low price. But uh, we're not in the United States, so I try to go with what the market is here. And I'm, st I'm still assuming that's a pretty good price. And he kind of... Mr. Hamiro kind of operates what looks like kind of a, a salvage yard here. I know what these are. These are paddles. Those are for oxygen for a fish pond, yeah? These are, those spin and they aerate, they aerate the water, which at some point we, we will probably be doing. Yeah, broken, but can be repaired. He's got a, a stockpile of rear ends here. He's got he's got all kinds of spare parts in his little uh, warehouse over there. Good place to find. I'm digging it. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.